Or some summer weeds can provide quality feed, especially when there's no other green feed available. Some can also present toxicity issues. So many summer weeds contain toxins. The types of toxins that we see in some summer weeds uh, can be on the plant or in the plant. Two of the types of toxins that we find in the plant are pyrrolizidine alkaloids and steroidal saponins. And these two types of toxins both cause damage to the liver. And why are we worried about damage to the liver in our livestock? Well, as well as it affecting your bottom line by creating production losses, the bigger picture is also that we can see contamination of feed that gets exported overseas. So the first toxin is pyrrolizidine alkaloids. We see this in plants such as common heliotrope and also Patterson's curse. So pyrrolizidine alkaloids can build up in the liver and over time create the toxicity. So we might not actually see this toxin's effects for weeks or months after the animals have eaten the plant. Sheep and goats are more resistant to the toxin than cattle and horses. In cattle, we might see signs such as diarrhea and jaundice, as well as weight loss. And we can also see photosensitization. So photosensitization, that's when the toxins that are circulating through the body make the skin hyperreactive to UV light. And the photosensitization is a bit like us when we get really badly sunburned. Sheep, we see similar signs again, so photosensitization, weight loss, and also the damage to the liver can cause chronic copper poisoning in due course. The other type of toxin that we might see are steroidal saponins, and we can see this in the plants known as hairy panic or also caltrop, which can sometimes also be called bindi eyes or cat's heads. Steroidal saponins, the toxin in those plants, it causes liver damage as well. So photosensitization in sheep, it tends to occur on the areas not covered by wool. So for example, around the ears and around the muzzle. Uh, caltrop, um, it's also, as well as having the saponin toxin, it's got an alkaloid toxin as well. And that can cause a irreversible staggers condition, which we only know in sheep in New South Wales. Caltrop itself too also has those very sticky burrs that can cause foot abscess and, and contribute to lameness as well as a downgrade wool quality. So farmers can and should respond to summer weeds by tailoring their, their control protocol based on their individual farm and they can do so using the assistance of agronomists. Farmers in our region have summer weeds present on the property and want to decrease the chances of toxicities and the flow on effects of that occurring, they can ensure that they graze lower classes of stock on those weeds. If they can avoid grazing those weeds altogether, that would be ideal. Because stock don't actually preferentially eat those weeds, farmers should make sure that they're meeting with other forms of nutrition, the um, energy, protein, vitamin and mineral requirements of their animals so they don't have to graze those weeds at all. And as always, if you have any questions, please contact your closest local land services district vet.